What is up, everybody? Welcome to week five of the NFL season and the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Brandon Gadula. I'm the managing editor at NumberFire.com, and I'm going to be breaking down my three favorite stacks for the week five main slate. Finding great stacks this week is harder than most, but one that I'm really drawn to again is Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. The Cowboys face the Giants this week while playing in a controlled environment, which is good for fantasy points. New York is just 18th in number fires adjusted pass defense metrics, so we like that. Dak has played well over opponent expectation this season anyway in terms of his efficiency, uh, averaging about four carries, 13 and a half rushing yards per game, 22% of the red zone rushing share as well. And as for Lamb, he's underperformed his expected Fandle point output this season, but leads the team in targets and air yard share while averaging two downfield targets in a red zone target per game. A big game is just inevitable. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't come this week against the middling pass defense in a game with a 52 and a half point total at FanDuel Sportsbook. I always want to find ways to justify playing Kyler Murray on FanDuel, and that means taking some chances with his stacking candidates. This season, no Cardinals receiver has greater than a 20% target share, and that does include DeAndre Hopkins. Now, it's not often that we want to target that type of situation, but when it's tied to Murray, it's worth the risk. It's also not often that we want to target a receiver coming off of a one-target game, but we can do that this week with Christian Kirk, who faced Jalen Ramsey on around 45% of his snaps last week, according to NFL's Next Gen Stats. If we remove that game, Kirk vaults to the top of the team in air yard share at 32% with an elite 15.4 yard ADOT on a steady uh, 5.7 targets per game. Last season, Murray's passing efficiency was just to the level of his opponents, but this season it's much better, so I want to take a chance with Murray and Christian Kirk this week. Going back to that Cowboys-Giants game is also very doable. This week we have a value stack on the New York side. The Giants offense ranked 32nd in adjusted pace according to my data in week one, but since have been top 14 in all three weeks. Dallas has been top three the past three weeks, so there should be play volume, and we should like that. Jones has an 8.9 yard ADOT for himself. Uh, it's about one to one and a half yards, better than the quarterback average in the NFL this season, and he's also easily outperforming the NFL average in number fires efficiency metrics, even when adjusted for opponent. Over the last two weeks, without virtually Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton the entire game, Kadarius Tony's at 17% of the targets. Uh, he also led the team in week four with nine targets, including two downfield targets. This game is setting up to be one of the best this week, if not the best, and I want access to both offenses. That'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks. Best of luck in week five. Let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday. Mm-hmm.